Hey, I'm Holly. Thanks for joining me here at my channel. We are in the midst of an amazing collaboration celebrating these amazing toys that Brian of the YouTube channel Spontaneous Creations by Brian created. And in this collaboration, I'm going to be using the toy that I chose, and it's called Round Waterfall 4 Chamber 11 Ounce Cup. It's toy number 11, and you can find it on Brian's Etsy shop, and I will link the store down in the description below. And also in the description below is going to be the links and the channel names of every artist that is in this collaboration so that you can find your way and navigate your way around easily right from here. This does happen to be the very first painting that I did create with my fabulous toy. I wasn't expecting a winner just out of the gate because honestly, I don't know about you, but every time I try a new technique or a new anything within acrylic fluid art, it's usually a big fat train wreck. <laughs> no pun intended. But anyway, yeah, usually I end up throwing those paintings away or painting over them if the, uh, the paint coating dries thin enough and smooth enough. And so I just went for starting on a fairly small canvas. I didn't want to waste a lot of paint and I really wasn't expecting much. I wasn't really sure what the cup would do. I just went for trying a technique that made sense to me based on what the cup looked like. There was a couple technique ideas I had in mind and I really kind of figured that it really wasn't going to work out my first painting. But I have to say that I was really surprised and I really like the way that this painting came out. And so I've decided to present that painting here and I'm also going to give you a sneak peek of the third painting that I've created with this cup. I really love that painting too. I, I like the second one I've done as well and I will be sharing a lot of paintings I'm going to be doing with this cup because I love it. The results I've been getting with it are incredible and it's taken my ring pouring to another level. Ring pours are something that I've kind of been hit or miss with a lot of the time and with this little cup I have to say things have really shifted for me in the results that I've been getting and I am in love with this thing. So I'm going to continue to do ring pours with it as well as try some other techniques with it that I've had in mind but haven't yet even set out to try. So in this painting I wanted to go for some blue type tones and like a copper type tone and I really wasn't thinking all that much about it to tell you the truth. I just picked out some colors I thought would look nice together. Like I said I really wasn't expecting that this was going to end up being a painting that I was going to really like the outcome of at first. I figured I'd have to practice with the cup a little bit to get there but I ended up surprised. So everything about this straight out from the gate for me was looking really nice. You know, now sometimes the puddles do come out looking nice from a regular cup and sometimes, at least in my case, they haven't always. But straight out from the gate with this one, I really was liking the flow of the paint and everything was looking pretty promising straight from the puddle. Now, for me, in some of my ring pour experiences, that doesn't always guarantee that I'm going to like how it looks once I stretch it out. So even though I have been liking what I saw in this puddle at the time that I poured it out, I still wasn't sure how it was going to open up. But, as you can see, as I start to open up this puddle, it is remaining really pretty. There are a lot of flows, a lot of shapes, there's a lot going on here. Honestly, I'm seeing things in this that I've never quite seen before in any of my ring pours, and I've been pretty excited by what was starting to open up in this puddle as I start to stretch the paint across the canvas. Let me know in the comments below what you think about how this is unfolding so far. Is this something that you would be pretty excited to see if you were doing this painting?
And I'd like to just touch on that this collaboration is put together and hosted by Cindy of Cynthia Porter Studio. Thank you so much, Cindy, for always doing such an amazing job. I always enjoy being part of Cindy's collaborations. Uh, also Donna of It's Art by Donna M. And I love participating with many of the friends that I've been in collaborations with before who are also here with us this time, as well as some new friends that I'm just meeting for the first time being in this collaboration. One of my favorite things about having a YouTube channel is the fun that we have together when we come together and do collaborations. It's actually become really my favorite thing about having a YouTube channel with my art. And I also want to remind you that up next after my video here is Jamie of the YouTube channel called Jamie Created That. Now look at the overlayering of the colors in this. This is a little bit more uh, of an overlayered type look than what I normally have ever achieved with just the Floetrol in the mix. Now my paints are mixed with Floetrol. I have not used mix as the pouring medium in my paints. The only other place that I've ever seen anywhere near this type of overlayering is when I have used mix in my mixes with my paints and then that result is something that mix is quite known for. And what has been really interesting for me within seeing what has happened in this painting is seeing this more extensive type of overlayering like you would expect to see from mix, but like I said, my paints are only mixed with Floetrol. I have to also tell you that given that I've done more paintings than, than just this, I've continued to see the same type of thing happen in each of the paintings I've done. And so it's not just a fluke that happened here. This is one of the things I really like with some of the special results that this cup has been giving me in my paintings. There are other things, this overlayering and some of the other effects that are coming forth by using this cup within my ring pour is at a different level than anything that I've ever gotten by simply layering my paints in a traditional type of cup. So just taking another look at this overlayering, I'm noticing that what I'm able to see with my eyes is a little bit more in depth than what the camera is picking up, but it is spectacular, I promise you that. And then just going in and touching up the corners, okay, and scraping off the underneath of those edges. Remember to always do that, my friends. And remember to do it periodically. I would say usually within the first 45 minutes or so, you're gonna keep getting drippings. So periodically scrape them off that underside until it naturally stops on its own. Yes, yeah, so all of my ring pours before this one were done with just by putting paint in a regular plastic cup. Just look at some of these various textures. It's so interesting. It's very unusual compared with results I've gotten in the past. So yes, I'd say that this cup takes my ring pours to an entirely different place than I've ever achieved before. It's an amazing little tool, especially if you like ring pours and even if you have not been particularly good at them, they haven't really gone your way, or even if they have, but you want to see what else you can achieve, something a little bit different, a little twist to what you've normally been getting, I'm sure that this cup will give it to you as it has to me. Okay, my friends, let's take a little sneak peek of the painting I'm going to be presenting on Valentine's Day in honor of the anniversary of my channel. And of course, I did use this same wonderful little toy that I got from Brian. I love this cup. I absolutely do. Just take a look at this painting. This is a different color palette, obviously, but look, we've got some of that overlayering of the colors I was talking about previously. And look at some of the shapes and textures that have come forth in this painting. I have never achieved these kind of results in my ring pours with just layering in a regular cup. Other artists may. 
I don't know, but I have not. So for me, this cup, this beautiful round waterfall four chamber cup has brought another level to my ring pour paintings. Like I've said before, I am going to try this cup out on some other ideas that I have in my mind and see how it works with those. It may or may not, I don't know, but we'll find out together, especially if you stick around and subscribe to my channel and click the bell. Then you'll be the first to know when the notification alerts you that I have presented a new video and you can come and see if it has anything to do with this fabulous cup or not. But get a load of this, my friends. This is absolutely exquisite. And the color palette is going to be incredible for Valentine's Day. And just to give a real quick shout out to Kelly Marshall of Kelly Marshall Art, she actually gave me the paint set that these paints came So I will look forward to seeing you back here at my channel, perhaps in between now and Valentine's Day, but certainly on Valentine's Day, because I'm pretty sure that you're not gonna wanna miss seeing how this painting was accomplished. So I'll see you back here again then. Let's give a round of applause to Cindy of Cynthia Porter Studio for putting on this collaboration. A round of applause to Brian for creating these amazing toys. I want to give a shout out to Lance for making the amazing thumbnail. A shout out to myself for making the trailer. And a shout out to all of the artists who have participated and who are participating in this amazing collaboration. And also to you, the viewers, for being here. We love having you. We love, we love that you interact with us when you're here live. And we love hearing from you in the comments below. So definitely give us a comment down there. Remember to go to Jamie's channel next. Link is down below. And I'll see you around my channel again soon.